Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a video um, just about my experience and my journey to becoming a wedding planner. Um, also just the steps that I took um, kind of to get where I am today. I am by no means really where I want to be long term, but I am obviously working on it day to day. Um, and just, yeah, so I feel like for wedding planning, there's no clear streamlined path that you have to take um, to become a wedding planner um, or even just to get into the wedding industry as a whole, whether you're a photographer, a makeup artist, um, a caterer, you know, um, if you do... Um, decorations and um, equipment rentals or um, you know like tables chairs all of those things um, there's really no like just one set way that you have to go about doing it it's not like you have to go to college and necessarily get a degree to be a wedding planner um, it's something that I feel like you gain more from experience than you would sitting in a classroom and learning about wedding planning. Um, so yeah, I'm just talking today about my experience and how I got from um, knowing nothing about the wedding industry to where I'm at today. Um, so when I started out, um, it was before COVID, um, before I had my little girl, um, I wasn't even, wasn't even pregnant, wasn't even thinking about um, those next things. And so um, I was actually working um, for a contractor doing like administrative office work. I wasn't super happy with my job, even though it was it was great pay and um, it was an easy, easy job. It was a really, you know, just basic office job. Um, but I really just wasn't satisfied. Um, and I'd also just, um, well, let's see how I even graduated yet. Yeah. Yeah, I was in the process of, I was about to graduate, I believe, um, with my associate's degree um, going towards a business path. And um, I at a community college, so like I didn't go off to college, like I stayed at home, I went to a community college, I worked, um, I just kind of really wanted to take some time to figure out what I wanted to do. I didn't want to go to a four-year university and throw away a lot of money um, and with me not knowing what specifically I wanted to do um, and knowing that there wasn't a wedding planning degree out there um, of course you could get a business degree and all these other things but I wasn't really quite sure which path I wanted to take um, as far as education goes which education is so so important but at the time I wasn't sure so I was like I'm gonna hold off um, and that's exactly what I did um, and so what I really wanted to do because how can you say you really want to do something for the rest of your life if you've never done it um, at least that's how I look at it um, so um, yeah I uh, didn't really feel like I could say I wanted to be a wedding planner without um, at least giving it a try so what I did um, I reached out to a few local wedding planners that had their own businesses um, and were already you know doing their thing um, and they were already established knew people they knew what they were doing they were booking weddings they were really successful um, and I reached out to a few of them um, out of all the ones I reached out to I only really got a good response from one of them um, and her company it's called after the proposal um, and she really helped me I definitely get to where I am today um, she was willing to teach me and to let me just come and um, you know get my hands dirty I mean when you're a wedding planner you're not just sitting behind a desk or you know um, standing at a venue pointing and saying okay this is where this goes this is where this goes and, and you're not just like coordinating those things there's a lot more behind it sometimes you're the ones steaming the linens you're you know helping the bride use the bathroom um you know you might be running from one end of the venue to the other in your heels um just to grab that one thing that the bride left on the other side of the you know the venue or whatever it could be um you might be helping the caterer do something um you know or 
really wherever you can fill in the gaps to make sure that the day is as seamless and as stress-free for the couple as possible um, so she really let me I, I dived in um, so like my first day going in um, I helped um, you know set some flowers and different things they did their own florals um, and then I went and at the venue steamed an entire probably 20 or 30 foot um, long backdrop of linens. It was kind of like a, not tool, but it was like a material that was really hard to steam. Um, so I steamed all of the linens um, and, you know, learned a lot about that. Um, we helped put out the tables, the chair, well, helped put out yeah more, more so the linens on that one that one was a little bit easier as far as setup we didn't have to put out so much as far as the furniture went um and then of course you know the wedding it was um very interesting because i'd never been to a wedding as a planner before so i'm, I'm and I, at that time i didn't consider myself a planner i was very much in the intern like learning phase of what the heck is going on and what do i do so but rather than i what I did realize is as a wedding planner you can't be one of those people that just steps back and just observes you can observe really quickly for a second and then you got to figure out what you're what you're doing next um your job as a planner really isn't to step back and, and watch everything go down you know it's you're on the move constantly um and so yeah I, I helped Jean and her team um you know really just um make that wedding happened and it was really fun and I ended up loving it um, and she said I did a great job and so I was like yeah I think this is definitely something I could see myself doing and so um, after my first on your first night that's kind of your trial run um, at that point she might hire you or she might say okay you're you're not really a good fit for our team but thank you for coming in you know you know showing us what you could do or whatever um but she actually did decide to, to pay me that night so that kind of considered me being like hired um so i started uh, working for her in my free time anytime that she had events on the weekends um or in the evenings where i could come in um and work because at that point i was working and i was more so coordinating than i was planning i wasn't sitting down with the brides and jean and going over their details you know months before i was the day of i'm or the night before whatever it would be i'm coming and i'm setting up i'm working it the day of i'm making sure that everything flows properly whatever jean needs me to do i was doing it um so it wasn't one of those things where i was sitting down and planning at that point so again wouldn't call myself a wedding planner um and it was it was really i you know worked um a ton of different weddings and then i say ton probably at least let's see oh gosh i don't know at least i want to say at least five or six and then also um other events within that like so special events like um let's see like aflac the company aflac did like a huge company party we i worked that um there was a few others that i like can't think of right now um let's see i want to say like maybe the chamber did something i don't know but just a ton of like different events and things like that and even if i wasn't right there hands-on helping sometimes i would go into the office and like i did help um one of the brides um <laughs> oh she wanted um she, she thought that her invitations were not um like labeled correctly so i was having to write out all of their labels for her thankfully we found the labels because you don't want my handwriting anywhere on your wedding invitations um but you know that was something that was really interesting for me because i had to like completely pivot and tr attempt at least attempt to you know write out these invitations or not invitations but the labels for her invitations and it was not you know for me but we tried it um and so you know there's a lot of different situations that you'll get thrown into um and it, it is a really um I don't know like I, it's hard to explain it because it's such a fun job like if you love being around people if you love you know um I'm, I have 
very much like a nurturing attitude so like if there's something wrong I want to fix it if something's if someone's you know got an issue I want to like solve it which isn't always the best but you know it, I, I have very much a personality where I love weddings I love the chaos I love being able to you know smooth that chaos out into where everything runs perfectly um and so I from my experiences with her I just really um you know it, it took off from there. So fast forward, um, I stopped working at my job in the office in March of 2020 because of COVID. Um, and I was, you know, pregnant with my little girl at that time. Um, and actually the, the team was some of the first after like my mom and dad, like to find out that I was pregnant. Um, so that was pretty cool. And then, um, and that didn't stop me from working weddings. I worked a really big wedding um when I was a few months pregnant and you couldn't tell like I wasn't really showing yet um but that was really interesting for sure so I, I did work as a wedding planner when I was pregnant um and it was pretty much just you know the same just get tired easier or a lot faster I guess um but anyway so fast forward March 2020 um COVID uh, because of the nature we didn't know how bad COVID would be and the effects and things like that um where I worked they took it extremely serious very huge corporation um not going to mention them or anything just because but um I worked for a smaller contractor within that company uh or a contractor that worked for that company um but I was really upset because you know we thought we were just getting to go home for a week and to figure out like okay is everything okay but we ended up turning in our badges before we left and that was a pretty big thing because that's the only way you can get into the yard um and so I say yard not shipyard um the only way you could get in the gates so um we turned in all of our badges went home you know waited to hear things we waited a few weeks never heard anything um I wasn't I did not have an income at this point um because you know we were completely laid off um and so I kind of started to transition into doing other things I really focused on my jewelry business and you know weddings were also coming to a halt because of COVID no one really knew again how bad it was people had really at that point started to get COVID and so you know no one was really wanting to have those big events those big weddings and all these things that were planned were just kind of put on hold and so that was really really hard um and then for let's see um it was March we moved in in April to our apartment now um we moved in together me and um my boyfriend and um in June we had our girl little girl a month early so a lot earlier than expected we had a lot of complications and things like that so you know life just took a turn and then fast forward to that October um or I'm sorry not October November I really just wanted to after I had my little girl I was like I really just need to get back into um like I need to start working again it just was not um ideal for me to just stay at home um even though I was doing really good with my jewelry I just wanted to have that thing for myself where I wasn't just in the house um and so my little girl you know my grandparents would keep her and things like that when I would go out but we did have to figure out like some child care and things um before I could just go and accept a job which we did I'm so thankful for my family um but yes we I accepted a job at a coffee shop it's just a barista um, I was just working a few days a week um, you know shorter shifts like six hours um, and so it was perfect um, and then a month later things weren't working out with um, the manager and the owners asked me to become the manager um, and at that point I was 22 I had just turned 22 um, and so it was no I'm sorry I was 21 yeah sorry 21 I was 21 so um you know being 21 and running a coffee shop obviously I did not have any experience running a coffee shop I did not have any experience managing um a team or you know hiring firing that just wasn't really what I had any knowledge of so it was very interesting um I learned a lot from that definitely in managing a team um and just 
you know, being thrown into that was very, very, um, it was definitely a, just a learning experience. And so it's funny because even though, sure, it wasn't like weddings and events, um, it really taught me how to deal with like super hard situations because there were a lot of hard situations. When you're dealing with the public, you never know what you're going to get. You never know what people are going to say to you. You never know um, what situations are going to come up. And so we did have a lot of just really random, some really bad, some really just good, interesting, whatever situations that would come up. And so um, just learning how to deal with them and getting experience, um, you know, being um, a manager of a coffee shop was really cool because um, the owners were phenomenal and they really gave me the creativity, like a creative control in a sense, um, like for the drinks and I would create the recipes and, um, you know, I would really work with them The like our team is like doing like some social media things and we weren't always the best at posting because it, we, when we started, when it opened, it was really busy. It did kind of get slower, um, but it was really busy there for a time. So anyways. Um, fast forward again, so um, I, around um, September of the next year, so of 2021, last year, um, I decided that it just, I, I knew that my, like my heart, I guess, was being led in a different direction, and I kind of been fighting it because I love the owners so much, they were just, they were both so sweet, it was two guys that owned it, and um, they just, had the most like compassionate like attitudes about them and of course that you know being guys they didn't always like show that but you know you could tell they really cared about me and about the business and so it just meant a lot and so I diff I didn't want to leave the place just high and dry um, and I wanted to leave it better than I found it that was the goal um, and so I you know gave them kind of a heads up I was like look I'm sure you're probably seeing it but I'm also feeling it that maybe I'm just not cut out for this you know position um, maybe I'm just not cut out for for this right now um, and so I, I wanted to give them plenty of time to find someone maybe to fill that manager role um, before I decided to completely step back um, and it wasn't too long after we had that conversation to where I was no longer working there um, and I've, you know, nothing but like love and respect for them. They, you know, are great. Um, and two owners of like all like very successful companies outside of the coffee shop that they own together. Um, and they're just great. Um, and also both of them have amazing wives. And so, you know, they're just like very family oriented and just, just two of the, I mean, it's the best, um, experience opportunity that I could have asked for. It really helped shape me and grow me as a person um and so oh the sun is coming out um but yeah so anyways I um I decided that I needed to step back and so when I uh stopped working there it was a few weeks I reached out to Jean um after the proposal again I said look if you know you have any weddings that you need help on um or any events coming up where you could use an extra person let me know i would love to get back into it i'm really looking to grow my experience and you know um that that's where i want to be and so you know she immediately was like yeah of course come into the office on this day i've got you know some different things going on some things you can help with so that's what i did um i started coming back into the office and helping we would um we i started doing like flowers and things like that which i love it was super fun um putting together floral arrangements um which i kind of dabbled in before but not really as much as i did that day specifically um and so i like spent the whole day you know doing flowers and things and um i she basically let me know about a job that was a place that was hiring um for a sales slash like events coordinator for this venue um, and it's a really popular venue where I live here on the coast and um, I was like I don't know if that's for me I've never done sales I don't know that I'm that I don't know if I can be like salesy to convince someone like like buy this or have your wedding here like I was like I don't know if I, if I can be that person but 
I was really intrigued, I guess, by the position, and I kind of, you know, I, I, I prayed about it, and I was like, I think this might be the next step. This might be the next door that's opening for me, and so why not just see where it leads me? Um, and so I just, I did. I, I interviewed for the position, um, and my interview went great, and then I had, I had a second interview, um, and they did end up hiring me. Um, <laughs> Sorry, my little girl woke up, so that was the whole thing. Had to change her, change her outfit, get her breakfast. So she's eating her little breakfast right now. Um, so you'll probably hear her and her show in the background. Um, but yeah, so I am currently working at a venue on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Um, and it is amazing. It's a historic venue. Um, it's a gorgeous property. It really sells itself, but it's really giving me that extra knowledge needed to know. I mean, eventually, one day, I want to open a venue of my own. Um, but this is like by far the most eye-opening experience that I've had um, because I do manage banquet team. Um, I hire them, um, train them. Um, we, you know, really get them where they need to be for weddings and events. Um, and we do hire them from, you know, brand new to really experienced. Um, so if you're looking for a way to get into the wedding and event world, but don't really know where to start, that's also a good place. Um, because I will say you do learn a lot of really valuable things and the pay is really great. Um, and it's, <clears throat> I don't want to say, oh, it's just super easy jobs because you do work longer hours for, you know, weddings and things. But it's, if you like that type of thing, then it's right up your alley. Um, and so it, it's been great so far. Um, we are, you know, extending where, you know, we have our property now. We're also building an extension in our new property next to it. Um, the company itself has multiple different sister properties um, located very close by. So um, we do work with them as far as doing weddings and events and things um, and just, you know, passing along business. And so it's really given me um, just a very broad spectrum of experience and I love that um, because it's really helping me with where I want to go in the future and it's also shaping that future because if I would have just jumped into being a wedding planner um, two or three years ago I, I would have I wouldn't have known where to start I mean let's be honest um, so the best best advice I could give you would be to just jump in and get your feet dirty um, you know try to intern or work with wedding planners and um, you know see how much experience you can get and you know from there you know you'll you'll shape your own your path will kind of form itself um, but yeah and so I'm actually currently in the process of creating my own company and um, branding it I just took my headshots last week and I'll like insert some pictures somewhere um, and it's just been really great so yeah if you want to follow me um, I'm, you know, just starting out as a wedding planner, um, officially wedding planner. Um, I do also coordinate, um, and I have booked a few weddings, um, on my own now, so that's really, you know, really nice, and, um, I'm also, you know, working with, um, a, a lady who, a local lady, she is wanting to open a venue, so, um, you know really have my hands in multiple different things because I feel like that's what will really um help me be the most like knowledgeable and experienced and um that's exactly where I want to go for the future so it's just it makes the most sense for me but yeah if you have any questions or um any video requests that you would like me to make I'd love to make more videos about specifically being a venue coordinator and what that means um and you know what my job entails and maybe even like a day in the life so you can really see what does it look like um it's not always a nine to five so it can you know it, it is really an interesting job but thank you so much for watching uh thank you so much for watching and i look forward to having you back on my channel have a great day thanks Bye.